Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In part four of the 1967 Ford Thunderbird detail, we got to clean the interior and the interior has mold in it. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it. Let's do it. Oh, this thing's gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. I know I've said it several times in other videos, but well, let me show you what I'm dealing with inside. This thing has been sitting in a barn. It has mold all over the seats. And these are really cool seats. These are wraparound seats. See, they wrap around. There's mold all over the center console. See all that? We gotta kill it. We gotta vacuum the car out. And then we will go on to the mold. I am going to wear a respirator and gloves because you do not want to breathe mold in. That is really bad for you. It's really bad for your respiratory system. It can actually kill you. It is all over this seat over here. What's weird is I don't see any on the door panels. And that's really strange, but this seat, let me look how bad it is. It's really bad. But we got to clean it up the best we can. So I'm going to get the camera set up. Hopefully my GoPro is charged. And we'll get started on it. Okay, so I had to vacuum um, off camera because I didn't have enough light with my other other camera for you guys to see. My voice sounds funny because i got a respirator on and wearing gloves. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a 50-50 of white vinegar and water. That's what this is, white vinegar and water. And we're going to spray it on. Now I bought these little scrubbers at Walmart and the kitchen cleaning section, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's microfiber on one side and a scrub pad on the other. We're going to scrub really easy with this scrub side because it's kind of got like steel wool in it. And we're just going to spray this directly onto it. Now here's the thing. Mold is because of moisture, because of water. You don't want to introduce a whole bunch of water back into the vehicle. So we're going to spray this on, but lightly. I mean, we're not going to soak the carpets. We're going to soak the seats, but we're going to try our best not to soak the carpet. And uh, basically just go from there, and hopefully this gets rid of it. I bought these towels at Walmart for like $12 or $13. I come 30 of them. I'm going to throw them away when I'm done. So once they start getting dirty, I'm going to toss them aside. And by the way, I think I figured out where all the swirl marks came from. Because that towel right there was under the back seat. That's just a regular old bath towel. So somebody's been drying the car with it. So here we go. This stuff does stink, but... This is a brand new bottle. I just bought it last night. Just going to lightly agitate the mold off of there. And you don't want to spread it any further than you have to. Now you can't see it on there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my white vinegar on there. And then I kind of go like this with it. This is not leather, this is like a vinyl of some sort. And that's all I'm going to do is right, right there for right now because I want to see if I'm instilling any scratches in this vinyl. It does not look like I am. So, we're going to continue on. And we got this whole interior to do. But I am up for a challenge all the time. The white vinegar will actually kill mold. Spray it on my pad again. Spray it back on the seat. You guys probably can't see that. I'm doing my best to give you guys a good angle, but I may block you a little bit. I wish I had my own cameraman. That'd be nice. So 
See, that's already looking a whole lot better. Downside is the seat belts have it on it too. The seat belts have it on it. Let's go ahead and do this right here, real quick. This pad works really good. They're removing the mold. I think they were like four dollars at Walmart. Probably not something I can put down in the description to be honest with you. Probably won't be able to find it on their website. This is this is working a lot better than what I actually thought it was going to. And I need to get this. Because we got mold down here too. The seatbelt cover. So here I'm gonna spray here. Do the best I can. I mean I can't obviously get inside the seat to clean. So if you look at my towel, see how dirty it is already. Mold is not fun to deal with. I need to do the front of this seat real quick. I should have taken some pictures before I did this. So I could show you guys some before and after. I didn't even think of that. See, I need to get the console. Let me show you the console real quick. I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in. So we need to get the console. Just like that. Now I'm gonna consider this towel done. You can see all the dirt in it. I don't wanna keep spreading it. We'll just reach in, we'll grab another towel. I'm gonna try to get the seats done before I do any of this so I can actually sit on the seats to do it. I don't wanna sit on moldy seats. I can tell you right now that I'm still, I'm still seeing, hang on. I'm still seeing some mold right here. Even though I already cleaned that. The pores of the mold. I want to see if that comes back. Otherwise, I'll have to change up how I'm doing this. You don't want to steam clean because if you steam clean, you're putting all that mold into the air, so you definitely don't want to do that. Well, it's probably just going to be the best I can do. I'm still going to go over it with Interior Cleaner by Griot's Garage as well. done with the mold removal as you can see it looks a lot better looks really good now I'm gonna go on to my normal interior detailing routine which is with a brush with interior detailer or interior cleaner by Grio's Garage. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna use as far as my detailer is concerned, but I'll figure something out. In case we're gonna use a new microfiber, I threw the other ones away that I used to clean the mold. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush right here. I showed this in my Jeep video. So if you haven't seen my Jeep videos, you ought to go check those out because me and my wife put a lot of work into that Jeep and turned that thing into a really, really nice vehicle. She loves driving that car, but 
anyways, um, we're just gonna spray this directly onto the surface. See that? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna agitate it so it foams up. And when it starts foaming up like that, it actually starts pulling the dirt out. I mean, it's seriously that simple. You just do it until the foam is pretty much gone. And then you just wipe it down. And that section right there is done. <laughs> Hope you guys saw that. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't. Dummy me, I wasn't paying attention. Well, you're gonna see me do it anyway, so. Yeah, I got it on the glass, that's okay. This handle's pretty nasty. I need to spray that. I'm gonna spray it into my brush though. Try to get in there and really get all the dirt out of there from 1967. Yes, you can use this to clean the chrome. I mean, it cleans anything. It's called an interior cleaner for a reason. They designed it to clean anything on the inside of a car. Leather, vinyl, plastic, doesn't matter. I think it's their version of like an all-purpose cleaner, to be honest with you. I don't know though. Okay, now we're gonna move on to this section. I mean, you can do the whole car pretty quick. Once you do this a bunch, like I have. We're gonna come in and put a dressing on this tomorrow, but I'm gonna let this thing air out tonight. I think I might use my Adams interior detailer because I think the smell is going to be a little stronger than my Griot's. It's just my opinion. Try to cover up that vinegar smell. I mean, I'm going to tell them about the vinegar. It's how I cleaned it, but try to cover it up best I can. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm sitting here. I can smell it, but it's not overwhelming by any means. Okay. So this door panel is done. Like I said, it's just gonna sit here just like this until tomorrow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the seats. My light may go out on you guys because I did not plan on taking so many videos all day. I've taken tons of videos today. I'm kinda scared to upload them. There's gonna be so many. We're gonna do the exact same thing to these seats. The ones that had all the mold on them. We're gonna get in here, we're just gonna agitate them. Probably ought to have my mask on right now. Cause I can still kind of smell. Cause you gotta remember there's probably mold on the bottom of the seats, I don't know. I'm not taking the seats out to do it. This is a good way to get into all this stitching. I mean, the I'm pulling dirt off. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. No. Even though I just cleaned all these seats, I am pulling dirt out. I think I am going to turn the camera. See that dirt? I'm going to turn the camera off real quick. Go get me some gloves. Dummy me. I don't know why I started this without gloves on. Be right back. Okay, so I turned my light on my camera, but as you see, it's flashing. So it's probably gonna turn off. If it does, I will just have to continue cleaning with the GoPro with the light I got. Oh, and there's my wife. Oh man, sorry guys. Tell me ready at 6.45 or so. Well, I'm not gonna make it there by then. We'll just say okay. I do have to hurry up because I got a very important nine o'clock date tonight, which would be my live stream. So let me get going on this because I want to, I'd like to get the interior done. I'm cleaning everything that I cleaned the mold off of just like this. Hopefully get rid of those little stains that I saw earlier. I don't even know if you guys just saw what I did. Let me look. Hope you 
guys are seeing what I'm doing because my uh, GoPro thing just messed up. There we go. So yeah, let me pull you guys up just a little bit. There we go. All right, we'll keep on going. Hopefully my light stays. I think I was doing a really good job of getting rid of that. Those little, I think they're just like stains. From the mold, I'm not sure though. Like up there. Cool thing about this stuff is, is they designed it so it's safe on all interior surfaces. So if I do oversaturate it and it does get down into the carpet, it will dry and it's not gonna hurt anything. It's not water. Mold's not gonna get on it. That's it, I mean, it's, it's simple. See how it gets all foamy? Gets in there and all those st all the stitching. And you're just gonna go in, you're just gonna wipe it back down. I did not know that this detail was gonna turn into this. He had mentioned to me at work, because he comes in here all the time, he owns a company, that, a construction company, that they store all their stuff in the back of the shop here. He came in and told me there was some mold and he didn't realize how bad it was. He said it was just in the front of the seats. He didn't realize how bad it was until he pulled it out of the barn, he said. So it turned into a lot more than what I thought it was going to. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so this is the next day. And what I did was I cleaned all this out yesterday, as you guys saw. I left the windows down overnight to let it all dry out. And now we need to put a protectant on it. We're gonna use Adam's interior detailer. I chose this to try to get rid of that vinegar smell because it's very light, it's very, I really hardly smell, I smell just a little bit. But this has a really good eucalyptus mint smell and the heater in the garage just turned on so hopefully you guys are hearing me and it's not hitting the microphone. Um, we're just gonna spray it directly onto everything. Onto the seats here, go in, wipe it down. It's gonna put a UV protectant on here. And hopefully, a barrier from future mold, at least while it's on here. Spray it on the seat back. My phone's going off. And that's it. And then I'm going to take it to the dry side and kind of knock it down because I need to sit in it. The seats turned out great. I didn't know how they were going to turn out, to be honest with you. Let me move you guys around. Let me put you about like this, so you guys can see. Okay, so now I need to finish the dashboard up here. I'm hoping, oh, oh. I forgot that was on there. <laughs> it went down in the vent. Oh, I got it. He's got a Thunderbird patch. Whew, I'm glad I got that.
Okay, so give you a quick view of what the inside of the car looks like now. Remember how bad that center console was? And that seat. And this seat back here was terrible. This whole seat was covered in mold. So it turned out really good. That's going to conclude part four of the 1967 Ford Thunderbird detail. We had a lot of mold to remove inside the car and do not forget, if you mess with mold, wear a respirator, wear gloves, wear a protective uniform if you can. Um, that stuff can really mess up your respiratory system. It can also kill you if you're uh, exposed to it enough. So make sure you just use caution when you do anything that has uh, mold in it. And we, we used a 50-50 mixture of white vinegar and water to get to kill the mold and remove it. And then I went back in with Ad, or Griot's Garage's interior cleaner and I brushed all the surfaces really good, um, cleaned all the surfaces. And then I went in with Adam's interior, let it dry overnight, I'm sorry, with the windows down. And then went in with Adam's interior detailer today, like you guys just saw. It turned out really well. I was really surprised at how good it actually turned out because I wasn't sure when I saw it how good it was going to be because it was so covered in mold. I've never had a vehicle that bad with mold in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Hit that little bell so every time I upload a video, you do get notified. And don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live, and I hope to see you there.